All right, in this video, we're going to be covering dash displacements. When we go to jack or roll a dash, the first thing we're going to cover is our relief cuts. We got three different spots we're going to make relief cuts, and we'll talk about their location and the correct way to do it. First spot we're going to cover is cutting on the front fender. But before we get into cutting the front fender, we're going to talk about gaining access to that front fender to make sure we're cutting through the actual support member. So you can see here the actual support member. This is what we actually want to cut through. The problem is sometimes it's covered by the fender or the sheet metal. We go to make our relief cut, we end up just cutting the sheet metal instead of the support member. So here's a way to expose that support member to make sure we get cut all the way through. So first we're just going to bring our spreaders from the back, get in behind that fender and just spread it out. Along this top line here, there's three or four just little screws that hold that fender in. And as we spread out, it's just going to pop those screws out real easy. We don't have to remove the fender completely, just expose that top support member as well as the bottom of the A-post and just bend that fender out of the way. Another option some folks like is instead of removing that fender, you can just take your spreaders and actually just crunch it down and reduce its profile. That way you can make sure you're actually cutting through the support member, not just the fender. All right, so we're gonna make our relief cut on our front support. Uh, the important thing on where we wanna place our relief cut, that relief cut always needs to be in between our strut, which sits right here that goes down to the shock to our front tire, and the firewall that separates the engine compartment from the passenger compartment. So in this particular vehicle, Here's our strut, here's our firewall. Our tooth needs to go right here in our cutter so we can make this cut. So when we come in, we're gonna put this top tooth right in that gap, and then we're gonna make our cut. All right, when it comes to cutting this front support member, uh, this car was pretty easy. The support member is pretty thin, so we were able to cut it with just one single cut. Uh, remember, though, if it's too big, it may take multiple cuts. We may have to cut from the top and cut from the bottom from this direction to make sure we get cut all the way through that support member so it bends easy when we go to displace this dash. All right, moving on. Now that we've got that cut, we'll talk about cutting the top of our A-post. All right, so just like we mentioned before, anytime we cut, we would need to peel and peek the plastic to make sure that we're not going to cut through an airbag cylinder or some kind of heavy bolt or something's going to mess up our tool. So find you something to find you a piece of plastic, peel it back, and all we need to do is check to make sure it's clean like this car, and now we're ready to cut. When we cut this A-post, we want to cut a couple inches up, leave the bend that's in this A-post in case we want to push off of it with our ram if we're going to do a dash roll. So we'll make our first cut, and then go ahead and take the time to make a real quick second cut and gap this A-post. A lot of times if we don't cut a gap out, the two pieces will still hang up when we go to roll this dash and it'll hinder us. So go ahead and take the time to just cut a little chunk out of it. Like mentioned before, you can see here we left enough of our A-post intact that we can push off of it if we need to. Now on to our last relief cut. We'll talk about cutting the A-post low. Here we have two different options depending on our technique. If we decide to use a ram to roll our dash, we're just going to make one cut. If we decide to use our spreaders to jack or lift the dash, we're going to make two cuts. We'll go ahead and cover both those options. So if we decide we're going to do a dash roll using our ram, we're just going to make one relief cut low. We may have to come in from a couple different angles here, though, to make sure we get cut all the way through. First, we're going to come from the back. And we're going to get as big of a cut as we can, as deep as we can. Then we're going to move to the front or go underneath that wheel well. It's important to note here, we really want to make sure that inside tooth really pierces that firewall. That way when we go to lift, that firewall tears easily and nothing holds us up. So we jack a dash with spreaders, we roll a dash with a ram. Uh, so when we go to push this up with our ram, we're going to go from this point here down to our rocker panel. You'd be surprised how much plastic and rubber make your ram slide off the haywire. So go ahead and take a couple seconds, peel any kind of rubber back, take your tools, get kind of any plastic or carpet back. That way, when we go to put our ram in here, we have metal to metal contact and nothing slips off. So you'll be able to see on this lift, we've got that firewall pierced well with our cutters. So that you can see that firewall, how, 
how easy it tears and then we get a really big lift. On this next example, we didn't quite get that firewall pierced and this car really holds up and you can even see it pulls the car off of the cribbing a little bit before it finally tears along that seam. So make sure you get that firewall pierced with your spreaders when you make that cut. When we go to push and displace the dash, sometimes for whatever reason, if we keep slipping off of this or we don't have a good purchase point, all dashes have this support bar that runs the full length of the dash so we can hit here, hit it in the middle of the console, etc. Uh, so this is something real good to push off of with your ram, and we'll show you a way that you can expose that real easy using your spreaders. Alright, so now we'll talk about jacking a dash. Uh, we roll a dash with the ram, we jack a dash with the spreaders. So in jacking a dash, we're going to create a purchase point here. We're going to bring the spreaders in this orientation and lift this whole dash up. There's a couple different methods on where you want to place your cuts. Uh, find the one that works best for you. Option number one is to cut down here by the rocker panel. Make a cut, first cut here, second cut right above the hinge. Pinch here with your spreaders, peel it out of the way, that's going to create a gap. Option number two is, since this is a be something beefy to push off of, is your first cut will go right above the hinge, next cut right above that, peel it out, and here's your where you're going to push off of. Only thing to be weary of, the more meat we leave right here, when we come to bring our spreaders in, if we don't keep them in nice and flat, this material may accidentally push out and down versus this part of the dash coming up. So, it is a little thinner to cut here as far as speed for making your first initial cuts, but you risk this pushing down versus cutting down the rocker panel. May take a few more cuts to get this cut through, but it's gonna be more forgiving because we're gonna have a flat surface to push off of. So just find which method works best for you, but those are two different options as far as getting our purchase point for jacking our dash. thing to note whether we jack or roll a dash our tools are designed and they're beneficial where you can actually remove that hose and the tool will stay in place and that'll free up that hose to go do another task if you need it all right we'll talk about another method to try to do a quick dash displacement this one we're not going to get as much movement out of it but if it's just one where we need just a little bit quick it's a way to kind of move this dash up without making all the different relief cuts so what we're aiming for Maybe for that crash bar that we talked about that runs the length of the dash, we push this up and break that bar away from the rest of the dash components. If that doesn't give us enough lift, then we can always come back and do our relief cuts um, and do a full dash displacement. But in an incident with a good collision, there's a chance this dash is still going to come down and bend that strap. Most times when we do a dash roll or a dash displacement, we shouldn't have to mess with those straps. We should be able just to lift a couple inches and get our patient out. But for some reason, you need some really big lift and you're not getting it. And so there's a good chance these straps are holding, it, holding you up. So you may need to dig down underneath the trim work here, find these straps and cut them.